Hey folks, we're back. This is just another part in our continuing series, Kainoa on Coins. This is our continuing series in which I share with you some of my favorite material. Uh, stuff that I don't necessarily want to give up, but it's stuff that people always ask me about that they want to see on video. And so I want to give it to you. Hopefully you'll be able to take at least some ideas of mine and incorporate into work you already do. Or you'll find a brand new routine that's something that you'll find extremely useful. The next piece in our series is called Trifecta. And I've included two versions. The easy version, which is the version that I started performing with when I just started learning coin magic and the hard version, the version that I do nowadays. I want to show you my favorite trick with three coins. And sometimes I have trouble with this because my, uh, it's, it's a trick with one and two and, oh, see what I mean? I get confused too. Um, because see, I think maybe I can find the third coin over here, but that's the second coin. So I think I'm gonna find the third coin over here, but see, that's the second coin. So I have to remember that the third coin is always hiding in between the other two. You just have to, I just have to remember that rule. Um, I know, I know, it's okay, it'll be all right. You'll be, you'll be, you'll all survive. You'll all survive this. As, as long as I have these three coins and I can, what the? What do they got? I'm, so, I'm, so, I, no, I, I'm, no, see, see, it's, I'm, that's my bad. See, I know, I think the second one's over here. And remember, remember the third coin? The third coin always appears in between the other two. Oh. Just trying to, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I know, I see in both versions, you'll find techniques that you can apply to your magic. Check out Trifecta. Kainoa on Coins, taking your coin magic to the next level.